What's going on, everybody? This is KMA Cosplay here again with a new episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we, uh, caught Drowsy. I did trade up a little bit. I did get me out of the PC. I'm trading her up to get a uh, payday. Maybe we can grind some for some money. Magic Harvest level 19. And then, we, uh, I went back to Cerulean City to train, honestly. I basically trained up against the trainers up on this route. Like the Nugget Bridge and everything. So, that was fun. But we're going to continue on and we got to get to Vermilion again. So we're going to head down this way. I did battle all the trainers off screen as well. On the, on the upcoming route that we're getting ready to, I don't remember if it's like Route 7 or something. Oh well, I digress. So I know we went to Route 5. Route 6. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, all the trainers have been battled, and we're going to actually go on to... Excuse me. I got hiccups. The SSN. Yes, I have the SSN ticket. I love how sophisticated it sounds. So, here we are, the SSN. Yeah, okay. Of course, I'm the strong, silent type, but I'm the protagonist. So we're actually going to get some training in here. And I just realized I didn't put a uh, drowsy in the front. Growlithe. I just need Arena to take on Growlithe, honestly. Unless it uses Roar. Okay, Leer's not too bad. Oh yeah, Nier Arena learned, learned the Poison Sting off screen. Which is fantastic. I just realized I should have bought potions and stuff. Crap. Roar! Uh, I hit it roar. Hit it so much. Stop spamming roar, you puppy! Ooh! Not dead. Good thing Jesse's bulky. Let's switch to Magikarp, actually. Sorry, I'm kind of finishing up my lunch right now. I just got some chicken. They're like these little chicken breast bites from like a deli meat, and they're so good. Mmm. Really juicy. I love them. This is why I love the Nidoran line. Oi! Right. I just remembered I don't need potions to be on here. Cause there's a lady on here that'll heal ya. Ember. 
Because that poison's gonna take us down. No. Okay, magic carp. Yeah, I was worried that I was have to go and have to go back and get potions, but no, if I come in here, talk to her. Yeah, give me a short rest, please. She heals my Pokemon. I completely forgot she was in here. But we're just going to go through the entire ship in one episode. I know that some of my episodes have been being a little bit longer, but I want to have a little bit of variety for everybody. I keep forgetting to switch out me out in the front, but I do want me out to learn Payday. Why oh, hasn't he evolved yet? My cat just seriously tipped over the reusable shopping bags. Hey! Buzz face! <laughs> oh, I love having Drowsy already. I've never used one before in my life, so... This is a first for me. Not a confusion. And one more should do it. Besides, Meowth also has pickups, so I can get some good items the more that I uh, have her in my party. Nearly a female. Although, she hasn't really picked anything up for me quite yet. Yeah, let's do this. This may seem dirty, but I don't care. Okay, my scratch hit is definitely way harder than hers. Wow. I'm also trying to record a few episodes in advance because I'm going to be quite busy these next few days next week because i got to get, because i got to work. And then i got to get my uh, second job, honestly. No, I'm pretty sure I don't. Sad thing is, that's how almost kids work are to, nowadays. Like, I was hanging out at, an, at a restaurant uh, yesterday on the, uh, this is at least the third, I was hanging out on the 2nd of March on Tuesday, no, on Thursday. And it was my day off, I was enjoying it. And I thought, Okay, I'll just go up to this restaurant where I usually hang out at and just do some work for my store. And when I got up there, it was fine. And then this guy who just orders like one meal and then he sits there for like hours. He's coughing and snorting and it kind of ruins the immersion of the store, honestly. And then around 2, 30, 3 o'clock, the middle schoolers come in, and they're rowdy, they're disrespectful, they're pushing each other down, they leave their backpacks in the walkway where there's a bunch of elderly people. So this isn't like a McDonald's or anything. And the managers are appalled with how the teenagers behave. Like, really appalled. Like. They don't have any respect nowadays. Let me tell you, if I was their age and I acted like that, I would have been whooped. But 
they always tell the managers, well, our moms are going to come get us soon. And the managers actually make them wait outside. Yeah, it might be freaking 20 degrees outside, but, but the way that they act, they're so disrespectful. That might be good on the arena. And it gets really annoying, honestly, because, like, the managers are like, we tell you this every single day that you can't be in here because of how disrespectful you all are. Like, the kids get mad that they get charged for cuffs because they say, yeah, we're being warned, and then they steal, like, Mountain Dew or whatever. So, I wish that their parents cared a little bit more. And they didn't ruin the whole experience for people at this restaurant. Kind of, I know I can't, I admit that I got woke as a kid, but honestly, sometimes kids need a dang good whooping. Because actually, I know a lot of schools see it as child abuse, but legally, it's not. Like, it is actually legally allowed in most states. But the thing is, like, just because I got whooped doesn't mean that you gotta discipline your kid in the same way. There are other ways of disciplining kids other than taking away their phones, their laptops, their iPads, whatever they have. Like, I personally don't want kids, and because I was, I'm afraid that I'm gonna become, like, what... I was raised around. So. Like if I was to have a kid and I had to discipline them. I wouldn't. I would take away some of their stuff. But they would have to slowly earn it back. But they aren't. But I'm not going to let them have a cell phone at like second grade. Are you a looker? I know everybody says that. Chefs. Did a great ball. Not bad. Okay. Hey look it's Gordon Ramsay. I had to make the joke. Chesto Berry, let's go. Cherry Berry, let's go. Pitcher Berry, let's go. Okay, so here's a question for everybody. No one that made that Gordon Ramsay joke. If you had the chance to eat at any of Gordon Ramsay's restaurants, what would you order from it? Like, seriously, like, I don't even know his uh, menu, but I know my roommate, she's obsessed with Health Kitchen. And that's all fine and dandy. Kind of, it kind of makes you think. If I was to go to this five-star restaurant with this amazing chef that's world-renowned, what would I eat from that restaurant? I might have the flame and yawn because I know that the risotto is a shrimp risotto, and I don't like shrimp. So that's kind of out of the question for me. Definitely a little 16. I have determined to get Magic Up to evolve here.
Trevor. Are you the kid that wants to complete the Pokedex? I cannot steal a Chaga Conroy drugs like that. I cannot. I don't want to steal Chaga Conroy jokes, even though he's like really well known. But, oh well. I actually might go the whole playthrough and not nickname anybody, but I still kind of want to nickname them. But there's a the whole fact of what to nickname them. Do a little gig. And I'm gonna make a Titanic reference as much as I want to. I always make a Titanic reference. Now I'm on the FSN. But not today. Again, I don't want to steer towards Chugga Conroy content to get views and clicks and clickbait everybody. So I'm just going to do what I do best. Rant about my life. By the way, I'm thinking about getting a uh, bone tripod so I can record myself painting. Because I just tried to do that and the white balance was so horrible. It made me kind of sad and the painting is so beautiful. I know Shudder have ice nipples here. But I know I used to also getting close to the next move. Oh! Hello. Edmund. Why aren't you in Narnia, Edmund? Yeah, I hope you get better. I want to involve Magikarp before, before a uh, before something happens. Ah yes, so nice. What did you fish up, man? Come on, show me. But no, I'm actually really excited because if I do really well, I'm actually going to be applying for a craft fair and I'm really excited about it. That'll be my first ever craft fair. It's going to be Christmas in July. So I'm going to be kind of working towards building up my inventory between the paintings and my knitted headbands. Maybe I don't have to worry too much about the knitted headband, but the paintings I'm going to try and bust one out every week. Just to get some... Oh yeah, it's of that new move! I'm getting rid of Growl. That's going to be so good. But now I'm going to try to get a new painting out every week, and I will be posting them to my TikToks. But my roommate doesn't know I have TikTok because she's like, oh, you shouldn't have TikTok because of what her mom's been reading on the internet. But I don't really believe that stuff. But I'm not really sure what to believe because I'm waiting for proof, but I don't see any proof, so I don't believe it. Okay, drowsy, we're using diffusion. By the way, my friend, by this one person I who have been talking about the soul link, I think we finalized all the details. It's just he's waiting for me to finish up this let's play first. So that's why I'm trying to consume, uh, make so much content in advance. Come on, drowsy. Did you lower my speed? You suck. Come on, drowsy, break through the confusion. Okay, seriously. Poison types can't get poisoned. Fire types can't get burned. 
freaking a bunch of pets can't get paralyzed. How come psychic pets can get confused? Seriously, and it can't even escape because it can strip. Okay, your return's wasted. One more confusion. You should go down. No! Well, I outspeed you. No! If you hit yourself, Drowsy, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Come on, Drowsy! No, 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 Drowsy! I've never used a Drowsy before! It sucks! And yeah, I'm just saying Magic Art Bob, just to get that level, tackle it. Just get that level, tackle, level it, get the level, and evolve and teach it waterfalls. Hold it. I gotta look up the arena's move pool for this generation because I don't know what I want when I want her to evolve. So that's the main thing. I'll probably do it between episodes while this one, while I am um, like paused. But definitely, you gotta go back and heal. Stop using horn attack! I really don't want to go on Boltpedia and put that stuff up yet. But you got to level 20, which is good. Dale. That's the name of my great uncle. Yes, Magic Art's finally evolving! I have since what, part 4? Here we are on part 9? This is my deadly weapon. Let's teach her Water Pulse, shall we? I keep forgetting that she's a girl. And like, in the Gen 4 sprites, she has white whiskers. Wire pulse. Here we go. Now I have nothing to worry about with Blue's Charmander. Who's it's nearing is big? Eh. Oh, need to read the a track would be pretty good too. Well, let's go heal up. Yes, please. Hey, everybody's getting pretty close to the same level, which is pretty really good. I think in the next episode we'll be taking on the gym. Oh, you're the Snorlax guy. There's still a little bit more training left to do. Okay, if you get the NPC useful, you do that, sir. Brooks. Pikachu! Level 23? What? Kind of an overkill. I'm kind of eyesore. Through your risen invasion. That's not good. Let's use Leech Seed. That way, if the invasion gets so high, we can still do ship damage. At least that's the idea. Razor Leaf, but still raising evasion. That's why we have the leech seed going. 
Stop spamming double team, you cheat! Yeah, you could be against the young to keep you youthful, but yeah, this is your cheat strategy. Oh. Evasion noob! Slam. Evasion moves. Should have taught Nina Arena Dig. I should have just taught Nina Arena Dig. I had a good feeling I should have, but I didn't. Yeah, I hope you directly attack me. Yeah, I hope you use Slam on me. Because you're going to be in for it. I should evolve her. I don't want to evolve her yet. I don't think she's ready. <laughs> but you took him down! Almost. Quick attack. Come on! Lipsy's gonna take it out. Nice. That was a success. Cheap strategy, though. You're cheap! You're seriously a cheap strategist! Like that's something that a competitive player would do. Seriously. I mean I'm trying to become a competitive player, but I don't want to do like competitive cheats like that. Yeah, please heal my tail like Pokemon. Thank you, I'll see you later. Maybe with, after I defeat this area, let me run back and forth and gain this episode kind of long. I know that's why I have a meow. This is such a bait. No, I'm a late comer and I don't like to party that much. I'm sorry, last dawn. Dude, why aren't you in Sinnoh? I seriously think my job is going to take this. As long as it doesn't know fight, we should be okay. She's still lowering my defense. I'm still using confusion. And my neighbors are being loud as fuck. And you just stop being so loud so I can record. Wow. I don't oh my god. Oh, I hate drowsy. I might just box him. I'm seriously thinking about boxing him. I really wanted to use Drowsy as a team member, but I know I need to train him, train him up. I was hoping that this would be a good training area. Because these trainers you don't fight again. Pikachu. Another Pikachu. Okay, same strat. No! I didn't want to use Fine Whip, I wanted to use this frick. I already swore in a video, so. Oh wow, it actually did a lot. Now you're up two with your evasion. Do I have a revive? No, I don't. I'm gonna do something cheap though. Cause see that Pikachu is seated, it's it's, spam it's spamming uh double team. Let's get me out the level, shall we?
There we go. I just like switch drowsy out. Oh, what the frick? Go back to Sino. I love this. That's a revive. That was a good big fight for the developers. But, like, I remember most of the items from growing up as a kid, but I don't remember a lot of them. So some of it is still by surprise. Yeah, please. Sorry, I keep coming back to you. It'd be nice if you don't have to see me every five minutes. Okay, which door did I cut? Yeah. Okay, these are the. Yeah. So I think that gentleman can down me too. Yes. Hello, Pokemon that know how to do their best. That should be all that matters to you as a trainer, right? Not strong Pokemon or worthy Pokemon. And you might be packing bites, so I am ready to switch up. Wait a minute, Gyarados has Whirlpool! <laughs> oh, Gyarados' battle debut! Let's do it! Oh my god, I'm actually excited about that. That was such an evil laugh, I'm not gonna lie. Yes. This is gonna be good. Hold on. 25. Good job, get another level in. Excuse me. Switch back out to Pony, uh, Gyarados and stuff. I almost said Ponyta because I see a Ponyta on screen. And that was actually my first episode that exposed to the anime was the episode where Ash had to compete in the Pokemon race on the Ponyta. And I watched it from that point onward all the way until Sinnoh. You know, Black and White really did fascinate me, sadly. And then when Serena got introduced, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to watch the anime again. So I watched the anime again. And that was fun. And then Generation 7 came up and they changed the anime so I didn't like it. No, that chat. Last room? Any battles? No? Oh. Many people are seasick. I only know the two. Okay, let's do a save point. Man, look at that time. I spent all that time with where Pikachu was training up. I should be getting ready for my weapon gym bag by now. Blue. I should not have gotten it just got for some water because I'm going to have again already with the commentary and talking and everything. Pidgeotto. So Pidgey finally evolved, huh? Let's match up our Pidgeotos. Okay, you're quick attack hit. A little bit. Let's see how hard mine is. A little bit harder. Oh, and you got a critical on a tackle. Wow, critical on a tackle. Let's keep just use a quick attack. One more quick attack and you're done. Goodbye. Please send out next. Drossy level 17, he's getting confidently leveled. Headbutt! Yes. We're getting rid of Pound. 
Okay, so now we got headbutt on Drowsy. That's pretty good. Eradicate. I know who to use for this one. Need arena. A while back ago, I had a YouTube video up about uh, the Radicate theory, where Radicate dies. But I ended up taking it down because a lot of people were like, oh, well, that's not true. Because, like, I don't, I really don't want to explore, like, Pokemon fan theories anymore or something like that. I just want to create content that I feel like you guys would like. Kadabra. His, all his teams evolved, so this is kind of intimidating. But I have nothing to worry with these last two. I'm not gonna, I'm not afraid. Kinesis. Did I just lower my accuracy? Really? I'm using a physical move? I think physical fights physical. I don't really remember. Again, this was before the physical splash of split. Charmeleon. Water pulse in. Almost Oko down. Oh, we got the confusion off! My next kind of step right now, and I hate it. Heck yeah, Gyarados! <laughs> that was so. I had nothing to worry about. You see, this is why I wanted to get Gyarados early on, so fishing for it here. Because. As you just saw, it's going to be easy to sweep blue. Here we got HMO1 to cut. And this is what we need to be out for, honestly. Okay, meow. So now that we uh, now we've taken down the SS Anne, and we've healed the captive from the seasickness, and we have all the magic for the Gyarados. We're gonna end it off here. There goes the SSN sailing away. That's why I wanted to develop every single trainer, cause well, they're never coming back. 